<laughs> he didn't do anything bad in his life at all. Okay? And then a person here, sorry brother, he's gonna kick, he's gonna chop off a head of someone, okay? And then they take this innocent person and they kill him on behalf of this person. Would you think this is justice? That's I'll tell you. I, I know what you're referring. Yeah, to. So what I mean, what I mean is Jesus was a sinless person. I did it. I know what you're referring to, but it, of course, this uh, particular decision might seem unjust, but it's it, it it depends on who that person is. Why? And he was innocent. We know that. Yeah, he was innocent. So why does it depend on who it is? No, I'll tell you something. I'll disagree with you here. You know the Bible talks about John the Baptist, right? Yeah. Do you know it doesn't mention any sins of the John the Baptist at all? According to the Bible, John the Baptist was sinless. Jesus was not the only person who, who didn't do sins. It doesn't, just because it's not written there, not okay. every detail of history is written in the Bible. Sure, I agree. So, um, but unless it's written, unless it's, it's written, we cannot say that he did it. You see what, what I'm trying to say? Yeah, we cannot say that he did it. Yes, if, so this could entail that he was actually sinless. The only one innocent, yes. then that's what we Yes, believe. I'll tell you what I'm saying. Jesus was innocent, correct? Jesus didn't want to die on the cross, correct? He, didn't, he says, Father, take this cup away from me. He doesn't want to be crucified. So this is what I'm saying. I want you to imagine the picture of someone who didn't want to be crucified, who was entirely innocent, but he died for our sins. What I'm saying is we don't have to limit God this way. We could easily say that God is able to forgive us. When we ask his forgiveness sincerely, you see, I'll tell you, so, I'll give you, I'll give you a story. This example came to my mind once. I, I want to know what you guys think of it. I was thinking a lot about this one. There is a father, okay? He has two sons, correct? This father, he has two sons and he loves his sons, okay? I know we like a, a parable of father and sons. <laughs> so he has two sons and he loves his two sons. He has an amount of money, wealth that he wants to disturb you, okay? And he's given his sons two choices. I can give you the amount of wealth one time, or you can come back to me every while, I'll give you a bit by bit by bit. In this way, if you come back bit by bit, you're coming back to me, we're talking with each other, we're having a more relationship, we love each other, so you want to see your father. Father wants to see you, okay? Which one loves the father more? The one who's gonna take the money and go, never see the father again? With the one who's always going to come back to take a bit, but speak with his father, have a relationship with his father. Clearly the one who has a relationship with his father. And this is the one the father is going to love more. Because he's the one who appreciated his father. He came back to him every time. This is, we believe, is the concept of Islam. We, when we commit mistakes, we come back to, to God. Asking him for forgiveness. We always come back to him. He always says, his door is open. He doesn't need anyone. Just go to him directly. Just go to him directly. Come back to him. If you're truly looking for love, you will always go back to God. But it's not fair for me to take salvation from God, then go. You see what I'm, what I'm trying to say? Yeah. I know you don't believe that. I know you don't believe that. Yeah. I know. And I'm not saying. I'm not. I didn't, yes, that's what I said. Yeah. I'm not misrepresenting you. But I'm saying is some do. This yeah. is the problem. Okay, so I just sure. want to add to your example. Sure. Sure. Christians just don't believe. We can take that salvation. I know. Jesus Christ, run away, just hide around the world and doing whatever we want to, and then at the end of our lives, we just. Can I ask you a question okay. sincerely? Yeah. Did, does any Christian, did, do Christians who believe that exist? Did they exist throughout history? Who believed that because they're taking, Jesus is taking the sin of everyone, they're allowed to do things? Yeah, sure they are. So you. Of his, of his Christian God and the. And the I'll make a point about what you just said. Sure. That story is actually yes. in the Bible. Really? It's a similar one. Similar, I, oh, I don't know you guys. <laughs> Maybe. You know, with, reg with regards to the repentance. He says something yes? interesting. Sorry, you wanted to say something? Yeah, no, he just translated it. You know, the, the story of repentance which you mentioned, there's actually a parable that Jesus gives in the Bible with regards to that. It shows how important repentance is to God. Yes? Uh, we should bring up this uh, verse more sure. often because uh, sure. it's quite important. This is a, a parable about the lost son and the lost sheep. Uh, sorry, the Bible is agreeing you? with me somehow. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> we're, we're basically saying that uh, there'll be more rejoice in heaven over one who repents, who, who actually is a repentant sinner, than 99 sinless people. Okay, so this is the verse which is it's actually in Luke chapter 15, verse 7. It says, Just so I tell you, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents 
than over 99 righteous persons who need no repentance. That means who are sinless, they don't need to repent. So God is actually, there's, there's actually joy in, in, in heaven for the person who comes to God and sincerely repents his sin for the wrongs that he has done. Can you, can you see the example? And to the person who is completely sinless and doesn't need to repent, you is see? It, is it about the... the it's, it's about the parable of the, the lost son, yeah, the lost sheep. Yeah. Yeah. So well, the thing is that the, guy, uh, the people he's talking to, Jesus there, yeah. um, they think that just because um, they are doing everything that is said in the law, in the Old Testament, they think they they're going to it. that's all they have to do. Safe, but they yes. don't have the right position in their heart. Yes. So he says, even though I have some people here who commit sins, but they uh, they they don't believe. I, they I don't, don't have the word. Yes. Uh, they um, they are truly believing in yeah, God. They are sad yes. They are they sincere. They are sincere. They are sincere. They are coming back and saying, yes. "Oh, I'm really sorry." They you are know, better than the ones who say, okay, yes. I'm doing all those things, yes. but I'm not feeling it. Yes. Do you know, so, can I, go ahead, sure. I just wanted to add that those, um, the example of the sun was good, but it was yeah. not Sorry, that's I the way good. Muslims do, and that's the way Christians do it, because as a Christian... I know it's not, I know it's not, I know yeah, it's not. But, but it came out, you know, like, it yes, I understand. That, no, you know the part that Christians and Muslims do, that Christians do not go to God back for sin, this is what I'm trying to say. But Muslims have to go back to God for sin, which is happening yeah, applicable okay, today. You see, yeah. so this is what I mean. Yeah. You have to go back when you commit sin to God. Why? Every time strengthening the relationship with God. Every time humiliating yourself to God. Every time building a bigger connection with God. That really shows that you love God. You understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, okay. This is but, this is what I mean by the very well. Yeah, but even yes. though if I do something wrong or if I think about a person, for example, or some bad thoughts, I also pray to my God. And, I, and even though I know Christ died for me and that I that was my uh, that okay. was my so you're closer to Islam then. <laughs> yeah, even though okay. I just yes. pray to my God and say, yes. okay, that was shit. Forgive me. So, so you you still ask for repentance. Yeah, right. Yeah, so, repentance so, is asking for I forgiveness. I mean, that's, that's, that's yeah. what I'm trying to understand. Yeah, but what I, is the point of Jesus dying if you still apply for repentance yeah, but, anyway? Yeah, but, but even with my mother, yes. for example, if I do something wrong to her, yeah. I, I know she would love me no matter what till the end of time. Of course, yes. yeah. we don't deny that. Sure. Yeah, and, still, and that's the same. Oh, I'm sorry. That, that's the same fact. I know that I know at the end of my life there will be heaven. And that's, you know, that's, that's the salvation. But you know, there's, you know, there's, there's, I care about the relationship. Yes. Say, okay, sorry, I ask for your advice. What yes. you know? Yeah. Do you know why we brought this example into, into the table? Just the thing is that we know we know that um, Jesus died for us so we can go to heaven, but still we know that it's not God's plan that we do whatever we like. No, but that's he, that's he what I'm trying to understand. If if ultimately you still have to ask God for repentance and ask for his forgiveness, I'm trying to understand why did Jesus, who is innocent, have to die and shed his blood. If God is going to seek repentance and based on that forgive you or not, I, I really don't understand why Jesus needs to spit his blood. I know what you mean, but I'm just not the, asking the, for... the reason is that um, sin came upon this earth with the first human beings. And, and that, he... that divided us from God. And Jesus was the one person who could fulfill everything God wanted his um, human, you Beings. know, his beings. creation, his creation, yeah, his creation yes. to to be like. Yes. No, but uh, when you say divided from God, it. what do you mean by that? Are you saying God wasn't merciful to the people before Jesus? Can, no, no, I'm not saying. Can that. I elaborate? Can I elaborate on this? I'll tell you one point. When I when I mentioned something about my brother and him, someone doing a, uh, and he's going to be in his place. You know why I mentioned this? This is what the Quran says: No bearer of sin. Okay, shall bear the sin of another. Yeah. Do you understand what it means? Yeah. So this is what we believe as Muslims. So for example, if Adam was going to eat from the tree, correct? Yeah. Did he consult with all human beings before doing so? Yeah. Did he ask human beings, I'm going to eat from the tree, you guys are going to hold the sins of me when I do? He didn't, correct? So it's not fair for God to hold me a sin that Adam did. As if it's not fair for this person to be punished for the other person's sin. You understand? And I'm not saying that we're being punished. 
I don't, I'm not saying punish. I'm not saying punish. But we bear it, correct? But for our own sins. But no, no, no. No, but that's that's a point we you bear... actually made. Yes. You said sin entered this world from the first man and. Yeah, we didn't have a choice in that. Right. This is what I'm we saying. We still have the choice of uh, of saying no to the sin. Yet we yes. are too weak to do it. No, no. But when you say the sin entered this world, yes. Are you saying that we inherited that sin, or just a sin entered the world? Not, yeah, I think I, I know what you meant. Yeah. He just, um, just translated, I just, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. So German to yeah. 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 Yeah.
the possibility of not following him yeah, or he had not the free doing will. what he said. He the right. Yes. Right. Okay. So, and so every human being uh, is able to, to sin. To is able to sin, but is also able not to sin. Agreed. But Jesus was the only one actually fulfilling that, and so. Sorry, fulfilling what? Fulfilling. Not sinning. He wants to sin. Not sinning. He was the only one without sin, yes. in, in my belief. Okay. And so, when he was crucified, yes. um, he died as the only person not sinning, okay. and thereby was crucified or sacrificed as But don't, one. don't you see how this is the problem? That he didn't make anything wrong, right. but yet he had to die for the people who done all these wrong things. This you what see what I'm trying to say? He was the so, sacrifice mankind made without actually no, knowing. You know, you know, my question is, my question is, why would God kill an innocent person for sins of other people? I, please, you, you, you can, I just want to finish it. You'll get what I'm saying. Why would he kill a, an innocent person for other human beings while he had the ability to just forgive the human beings when they come back and repent to him? This is the main idea I'm trying to give. You understand? It's actually, it's mentioned in the Old Testament already. Yes. It's not, it's not a conflict, but what I'm saying is why did he have, in my point of view, yeah. to commit injustice in order to give us... Go ahead, sorry. You want to say something? Yeah, no, I think that's just something we really Yes, we, sure we do. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I'll tell you something, we agree on, on multiple of things. You know when I started talking to you, I told you who truly loved Jesus. Remember I was giving you the examples of Muslims following Jesus. So we agree on multiple of things. But what I'm trying to tell you is the things we disagree upon, you should be able to rethink it. So for example, yeah. rethinking that, for example, that the Trinity is not in the Bible, for example, you understand what I'm trying to say? Or rethinking, looking back into your, to your scripture, that Jesus was a humble human being. He was not claiming, he was not claiming to be God or something like that. This is what, the only thing I'm asking, is you rethink the things that we differ upon. Why? Because I'm born in a Muslim family, you're born in a Christian in a Christian family. You're not born in a Christian family. Well, I was no. no. You're born in a Christian family. No. Still no. Okay. Someone is born in a Christian family. <laughs> okay. Someone is born in a Christian family. Someone is born in a Muslim family. Someone is born here, born there. So he's give, he's been given certain ideas. But this doesn't mean these ideas are the truth. This goes back on me as well. What we believe. We have to criticize. We have to look into what we believe. Does it make sense? Does it truly exist in the scripture that we believe in? Yeah. You see what I'm trying? Yeah. Yes, I know. Yeah. I'm talking about all of us. Yeah. Talking about all of us. So, as all of us, we should be critical. So, for example, if someone asks me about the, something about the Quran, which is relating to my central doctrine, which is that God is one or Prophet Muhammad is a Prophet, I should be able to answer. Yeah. Because this is my central doctrine. Other things, branches, maybe I agree with you, but central doctrine I should be aware of. So, for example, when we brought the verse of John 17, 3 or something like that, this verse affects the doctrine, which is the doctrine of Trinity, for example, you understand? Or the doctrine of Jesus being God, it affects both. By Jesus, by there being one only true God, Jesus and the Holy Spirit cannot be God. I, by Jesus saying there one only true God, He cannot be God. So it affects both both of the doctrines. Do you agree with that or do you disagree with that? No, I disagree with that. But sure. we talked about it before. So sure. <laughs> no, we don't want to go. Honest, I'm a little bit... Yeah. Yes, yes, we don't want to yeah, go back yeah, to it. That issue. would be basically, you know, when you say you disagree with it, then you'll be disagreeing with Jesus, isn't it? What? Sorry. John, you know, I when just he's, disagree I, with... It, it depends I, on how you interpret his, his words. Okay, so. he said the only true God is a father. How would you interpret that? Yeah, but how would you say would God refer to himself? No, no, he said is, the only true God, God to him. God or... Okay, I'll, I'll give you a scenario about Jesus. You know, when Jesus was here on, on earth during his ministry, you agree that he was the best example for human beings and he would teach people how to pray to God, yeah. right? Now, every time Jesus prayed to God, yes, he, the people saw him and he even told them, for example, the Lord's Prayer. You know the Lord's Prayer? Hello be thy name. Yes, he's saying... Uh, the Heavenly Father. Our Father in Heaven, Our Allah Father be thy name. Yes. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. So this is a prayer and in that prayer he mentions as only the Father. He did not mention the Trinity. Do you agree? 
Se secondly, when he prays in the Garden of Gethsemane, you know, take the cup away from him. Again, he puts his face on the floor yeah. and he yeah. prays only to the Father. Yes? Third time. When he's on... When he prays. Say again. What do you want to find out? Because you... Do you want to find out that he didn't pray to the power and to the Holy Spirit? He didn't. Yeah, Unless you can, can show me from the Bible. Yeah, because he can't pray to the Holy Spirit. Why not? So he, if, you, if you can pray to the Holy Spirit, because yeah. you are a human, and he was a human as well. So as a human being, he was teaching them. He's saying, this is how you... Because they asked him the specific question, how do we pray to God? And he said, this is how you pray to God. Yeah. So as a perfect human being, he has to show you the perfect example how to relate to God, how to pray to God. It's and every time when he prayed... not understand if he would pray to himself. No, but I'm not saying to pray to himself. You know, you believe in the Trinity. Yeah. He's did saying he, the Holy did Spirit. he even right. pray to the Holy Spirit? No, but did he pray? Whenever he, had, he wanted something, like his help of God, yeah, or when he wanted to teach to people, did he tell them, pray in the name of the Father and in the name of the Holy Spirit? He didn't. He said only the Father. Yeah, the now, the Holy Spirit is something different. We've been coming from the Father and 